Any Olympic champion, whether he or she is a runner, a swimmer, a shooter, or whatever, will tell you that success is built on hours, days, months, and years of often monotonous training. But there are probably no other Olympic athletes for whom the training is as demanding as it is for the weightlifters. The Chinese national weightlifting team has recently moved to a new home, the brand new gymnasium at the headquarters of the General Administration of Sports. The men's team has four Olympic medal winners, and their training positions are next to each other. The four men come from different backgrounds, but they have been brought together by weightlifting and by a common dream. The third stand by the window is reserved for Zhang Guozheng. Special use of the stand seems to be the only privilege afforded to the highly successful 33-year-old. This week is an adjustment period. They will be training only in the afternoons. Even though the time is shorter, there is no reduction in the level of intensity. Zhang Guozheng takes his warming-up exercises very seriously. Only when he feels ready will he stand in front of the weightlifting stand. <coughs> Adjusting his muscles and focusing all his energy, he succeeds at the first attempt. You look like two small movements, one to catch, one to catch. 当然，还有一句话叫“越简单的东西越难练”。我练了一辈子没练会，练了二十多年，这个这里一个抓举一个挺举练不会，身上这么多块肌肉，你能调动多少？一般人可能调动百分之三十，我们要练了以后要调动百分之九十，甚至可能百分之九十更高。哇，什么情况 ？Weightlifting is a process of challenging oneself. Zhang Guozheng has strong muscles and an excellent weightlifting technique. But however much talent an athlete might have, he has to work extremely hard if he's to be successful. <coughs> Zhang Guozheng, in trying to achieve the perfection he craves, has gone through almost unbearable suffering.搞竞技体育的应该说每一个运动员他都有三病他都有三病的存在只是大和小的问题你看我现在就是说不光是腰上的受伤你看我讲的是从头到脚关节每有一个地方是好的但是呢我感觉就是说怎么说呢运动员
it's impossible to read his face during either morning exercises or formal training in the afternoon. The people who watch him training so hard are a little worried about him. However, the smile on his face suggests that he may be able to hold out for the day. In 2000, Shi Zhiyong failed to appear at the Sydney Olympics due to injury. In 2001, he only achieved third place in the national games. Shi Zhiyong has often considered retiring, but he eventually decided against it in order to pursue his Olympic dream. Training at the same stand at Shi Zhiyong is Zhang Xiangxiang. Since 2002, he has rarely been seen in public. After moving up to a weight to 62 kilograms, he seriously injured his back in training. The problem was exacerbated during treatment, and his condition was so serious the doctors thought he might never lift weights again. After four days in a coma, Zhang Xiangxiang woke up, but everything seemed new to him. He had to start with lifting from scratch again. He struggled for a long time to adjust, but he was persistent, and gradually he started to make progress. There are a lot of weightlifters in the 62 kilogram category, so his chances of taking part in the 2008 Olympics are slim. But Zhang Xiangxiang believes the miracle may happen if he perseveres. From 2000年、2004年到2008年也是經歷三屆。那這三屆呢,雖然說沒有拿到很好的成績,但是這三屆的過程 Training on the other side of Zhang Guozheng is Olympic silver medalist Wu Meijin. He doesn't speak much while he's training, but his actions, quick and lively, are just like his character. His teammates say that his room is always the cleanest and tightest and his weightlifting is always perfect. But it's not easy to maintain such high standards all the time. At the 2004 Athens Olympics, he was defeated by Halio Mutlu and only won the silver medal. Now, Wu Meijin no longer cares who his rival might be, he just enjoys the whole process of weightlifting. <laughs> These men comprise the main force of the Chinese men's weightlifting team. In their attitudes and approaches to weightlifting, they epitomize the whole team. They all devote themselves in training, not just for the sake of an Olympic gold medal, but because it's their life.